In this video, you're going to see me install this keyless uh, lock for an RV on a trailer and uh, program it and show you some other little tips on it. This also comes with a remote so I can lock it just hitting lock and unlock. And I'll show you also how to turn off that beep uh, so you don't hear the beeping sound if you don't want to. So I got some other tips in there. So if you want to watch this video, let's get going. And if you uh, want to buy one of these, I'll provide a link below in the description of it and the products I use. So if you like this video, please hit the subscribe if you haven't done so already and the bell icon. And uh, please give me a thumbs up, thumbs down if you like the video or you don't like the video. Feel free to leave comments down below. I'd appreciate it. And uh, if you have any questions or anything on the install, uh, feel free to ask me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Or uh, you can leave feedback if you have one of these and if you like it or if you've had problems with it so that future people can read that below to see what they like about them and don't like about them. Let's get on with the video. Today we're going to change out this um, door lock to an RV lock right here brand new it's my neighbor's trailer it's a, a right hand swing door so it swings out to the right so we're going to go ahead and um, take this one off and um, put this one on and i don't need many tools just a phillips screwdriver and maybe some files we'll see and some windex cleaner to clean the area after we take this off so let's take a look inside here where i'm going to unscrew it so right here, we're just going to take these four screws off here and then these two screws right here. And uh, this will come off and this will come out. The four screws are removed. So this comes right off like that. I took these screws out here and this plate should come right off here like that. So now I have this, I'm going to remove this but um, I'm going to take and push this while I pull on this area here, and this will come out just like that. See how that easy that is? Now that it's removed, you can see the dirty area here that I'll clean up with the Windex cleaner. And inside too, you can see a little bit of dirt here. I'm going to get this all cleaned up now. Here it is all cleaned up. It's a big difference like that. Now here, got this out of the package. I'm gonna cut these keys off here and then this will come apart and uh, I'll show you where I go from there. So on this trailer, this is gonna need to slide into this opening here and this uh, foam insulation, I'm going to have to chisel it back in order to get this in. It's not quite big enough. So I'll use a chisel to chisel this out and it'll chisel all the way back to the uh, jam there. We got this area all cleaned out here. This here, I'm going to slide this in, put this wire in like that. Grab the wire from the other side and it sets in like that. So I'm going to show you something on this side. You're going to want to make sure that this gasket is touching all the areas here so no water will get in. And, um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in this side here and show you um, what I'm going to do on this end. So now we've got it all set in here. We're going to put this little plate in place right here. We're going to uh, do one screw at a time here so we don't drop it. I'm going to go kind of loose, not tight. I don't want to tighten it all up yet. Like that. And now we're going to go ahead and get this on. Um, but first, we're going to connect these wires right here. They go one way 
There's a clip there. Listen for a beep. Hear the beep? I did. Uh, and then uh, on this one, there's four screws. I'm going to stuff all this in here. And then I'm going to line this up with this right here. And I'll put this on. I'll get back to you after I get everything started. So I had all the screws loose. And then what I did was I just held it in place where it wanted to be. Then slowly went around and tightened these screws up. Got them all snugged up. And then I tighten these up last. And then you check it to make sure everything moves properly. You can see the deadbolt. And then I also, over on this side, made sure it's nice and snug all the way around the gaskets pushed down. So now that all that works, um, I'm gonna show you where the battery is in this here. It's right inside here, so I'm going to remove this to show you that. So I removed the two screws right here that hold this on, and you can see there's uh, four AA batteries that are included, and it says not for retail sale. Okay, so don't try and sell them. And so I'm going to put this back on, and then uh, I'll be back to you. I got the cover back on. Let's close the door to see if it works, if it shuts. It shuts nice. I push on it. Listen. It's making a little noise. Looking down in here, uh, there's a slight gap. So I need to adjust the jam um, insert where this bolt goes into. So let me bring the camera around and show you what I'm going to do. Let's go over to the strike plate here in the door jam, and we're going to correct that problem we had. It comes with a, a new strike plate, but I'm just going to uh, keep the old one. It's exactly the same. It's been working for us. hasn't given us any problems. We're happy with it. I'm going to loosen these up, and I'm going to move this stri strike plate back probably an eighth of an inch. See how easy it is to undo that? Tighten them back up. We'll see if I have to bring it back more or in more. I'm going to go ahead and shut the door and check. So let's shut the door and see how it shuts. Perfect. I like it. Now let's look at how the key works, okay? I've seen on a lot of uh, social media sites, people talking about, what's this one for? What's this for? So if you want to use a key, this bottom one is for the deadbolt. Here's a deadbolt. If I turn it to the left, it turns the deadbolt on, deadbolt off, and then take the key out. Then this top one, like that, it operates the top, and then if you turn this this way it locks it so it won't shut so like if you want to leave your trailer in storage for a long time go ahead and lock both this one and the other one so it works uh pretty good with us we just use a deadbolt when we're out camping we don't lock up uh, the top one and uh we use the keypad and like i said before if the uh battery goes dead something you have the backup key so i hope that helps you um and answers a question a lot of people are asking i'll show it this way so let's say i want to lock this and i just hit the lock hold it it just locked deadbolt went out and this just goes like that it goes in and out and then you do the key like this and now it won't okay so before we program this, I just want to show you um, a couple things here. So when it comes from the factory, it said it, the code is one, two, three, four. So here's one, two, three, four, locked. Locked, see? One, two, three, four, unlock. And you can hear there's no beep, it's unlocked now. 
If I want to turn the uh, beep on, I hold number one until you hear that beep. Now you're going to hear it, a beep when you, it locks and unlocks. Just like that. One, two, three, four, unlock. And then if you don't want to hear that beep to bother your neighbors, you just hold the one. And then it's off. One, two, three, four, lock. No beep. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, program the code now. Uh, but first I have to figure out what I'm going to put in for a code. We're going to program this thing. So an instruction that says to press eight and lock simultaneously, but you don't do that. You press eight lock button. You hear that long beep. You punch in the one, two, three, four lock. Then your new code, I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six lock. One, two, three, four, five, six and hold it. And you hear that? It locked. It's the new code is in. So I'm going to do my new code. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to hit lock. And it just locked. And then I'm going to hit one, two, three, four, five, six. Unlock. And that's good. Now let's say I forgot how to get into this trailer uh, with my code. I use my key. I unlock it and then I go over here like this. I'm going to open this up and show you in here. There's a reset tab here. I'm going to press this with this uh, paper clip and hold it and you'll hear a beep. It beeps and then it reset the code to uh, one, two, three, four, and you can reprogram it. A shortcut to locking this instead of putting in the one, two, three, four lock, um, you can just do hold the lock and it locks. And then to unlock it, you got to do your code uh, one, two, three, four, and unlock and it unlocks so that's a good shortcut so let's get to programming the fob we're going to program the fob now and so what you do here turn the fob switch on here and then there's a fob learn you hear the beep now we're going to go here and press the uh, lock button here hold it And that beeped like that. So now it's it's remembered the fob. Now we're going to try and lock it. And I'm going to unlock it. Lock it. Unlock it. It's programmed. If you're going to have your trailer sitting for quite a while and you're not going to use it, um, I suggest you turn this on off button for the fob off. So if you have it sitting at home or storage, or if you're not camping, I would turn it off because it drains the batteries uh, quicker. Um, on ours, I probably have to replace the batteries. We use it uh, camping every couple weeks. So we use it a lot. Um, so we might have to replace our batteries every uh, year, year and a half. What you'll hear is the mechanisms all slow down inside. And um, so then it's time to change them out. So um, I would just keep a extra key around in case the, the batteries uh, fail on it, but usually have a, a warning on it. So, um, so let's go around the other side. I'm gonna give you another tip. Here's a quick tip for you. On mine, I felt uh, when I do the keypad and the lock would go back and forth, it sounded kind of sluggish, but the beep was strong. And so I knew the batteries weren't bad. I tried spraying some silicone on this uh, the hatch here, but it didn't seem to help. And I found by accident 
uh, one day I went to go um, lubricate all my locks in the trailer I use silicone spray lubricant and I'll put a link to this in the description below um, I just took this opened it up shot a little bit of that in there in the locks just wipe it up and then I did my key work the stuff in there did it and it worked fine so that's just a tip for you so make sure you got some of the spray lubricant around I don't use WD-40 because it leaves the oil residue and it'll catch dirt so this goes in and dries up and it keeps it lubricated so there you go so that's the end of the video appreciate everybody watching uh, feel free to watch my other videos that I have out there. There should see, be some links here popping up. So you can just click on it and go right to another video if you like. Thanks again, everybody. Take care and happy camping.